Yo, what's up guys, welcome back for another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, the new Devil Ritual Monsters and Necros. This video was coming right. I, uh, well, I've been planning on, you know, revisiting a couple of ritual decks I have have featured in the past. Necros is one of them, and with the new Devil Ritual Monsters, you can slap them in pretty much every ritual deck, right? It definitely increases the consistency of your deck, but as I felt, um, playtesting Necros, this particular deck, doing it, well, with a TCG format, that is, um, with only one Brionic and one Unicorn, the deck lacks power. Um, and, well, you, you still have, like, Trishula, but, you know, the small downside that your opponent has to have, like, at least one card in hand on the field and graveyard. That's not that hard for your opponent to play around. And let's not forget, everyone and their mother is playing multiple hand traps, mainly Ash Blossom. Uh, Ghost Ogre to some extent, of course. Uh, well, with that I mean that Ghost Ogre is not that crucial against Necros, it's mainly um, Ash Blossom. And maybe the Infinite, infinite uh, Transients, quite popular in OCG. As you can see from OCG lists, but yeah, yeah, those kind of uh, hand trap alike cards are huge, huge threats for necros. And well, with like you know uh, two less unicorn and two less brionic, it's it's hard for this deck to recover f from uh, something like that. Um, first matchup, we have like. Um, well, Invoked, um, what is it called, like Invoked, um, Mech Knights, right, I believe some Brandish cards as well, one of the new upcoming forces. This is definitely a decent opening hand, but I, th I think he had like one hand trap, was it Ash Blossom? Uh, well, anyway, um, <laughs> I have an Ash Blossom on my own to negate like an extra search from the opponents. Uh, it's sadly no follow up play, uh, I believe that the candle needs to reveal a ritual spell. Yep, indeed, to eventually search out a ritual monster. Uh, I believe that's much better, you, you'd rather want to reveal your candle, right? To eventually search out a monster with the other level 6 um, Devi ritual monsters, since you can just search out your ritual spells, right? Here, you definitely had the option to attack for a game. I needed to have an empty field, but eventually, if it uh, wasn't for, well, if it, if it wasn't for, your, you know, your Valkyrus, he just would have pumped up his uh, Makaba with, uh, you know, his Alistair in the hand to gain the thousand extra attack points but uh, the negation prevented that so now with his field established Trishula is useless but again no extra deck summons due to the death rituals but I think going for Brionic first was definitely good going for Valk eventually eventually and uh, well deal some damage first of course and then eventually use Valk's effect to get two extra draws and now it's pretty much set to go. Um, again, very solid these devil ritual monsters providing a search for example. Uh, second, they can definitely provide for something like Tribute Father for your ritual summon and also a Tribute Father for Valkyr. So again, quite good. Um, um, Again, so quite, it, it just gives your Necros like a boost, but again, it's just, it lacks a lot of power again with the hand traps. The deck is super vulnerable to, to hand traps and, um, well, I, I personally, again, I, I'm well aware that I'm not playing this deck perfectly, none of my videos, but again, um, I'm not, I'm not a, a huge or highly dedicated Necros player to like, you uh, know, every uh, uh, play to, to uh, you know, every play in depth to play around every Every hand trap possible and still have a possible play ready. Um, I have to, at least my knowledge from Necros is not that uh, that high. It's just, you know, to toy around with the new Devil Ritual monsters and to explore the possibilities uh, with this new, um, well, quote unquote, new Necros deck, right? But if you look at the OCG, not really sure um, how many uh, Brionics and Unicors uh, are um, uh, available in the OCG. I know uh, Shuret, of course, is still legal in OCG land. Not really sure how many. Sure, is Shuret a three? Um, again, I can't remember uh, with this uh, information, but again, the deck definitely needs sure it it just makes it more easy to get something like Falk or Trishula well basically for free uh, on the field and eventually also get a search off of your sure it it's just too good and as you saw earlier in the extra deck cards like Gungir is not in the main deck same for Catester not really sure about Catester but maybe Gungir should be in there then again the level 7 I believe not really too common but 
yeah, it's just again an extra ritual monster to just search out, have an option to go for a possible ritual summon. Same for Catester being, I, Catester is a dragon type, right? It's also searchable off of your level 5, I believe. Now the, uh, what is it called, the size of armor is the only target, but mainly something uh, to uh, like main, uh, main deck more of the level 5 exa card to, well, yeah, eventually search like Catester, but that again needs more main deck uh, spots. But for now, again, the decklist is not set, so I always feel free to leave suggestions. Necros, um, again, a very solid field. Well, it feels like if it's like your second turn, well, in this case, like turn three or turn four, depending on which player started, and you can like special summon another devil ritual on the field to get more searches, you should be in a super winning position. Um, you can't really lose after, well, in this case, this particular field, right? Anyway, the opponent get to start, or got to start, two sets and Layer of Darkness, so we can definitely expect any kind of a virus card, either um, uh, Eradicator, Deck Devastation, or any other of the viruses, so I opt to go for Trishula immediately, blow him away with like Trishula, since we can definitely expect like a like Deck Dev, Eradicator, or whatever, to, and I think any um, ritual Necros monster on the field is like a legit target with the Layer of Darkness to be tributed um, for like any virus card. Um, well, anyway, I uh, also dropped Clausless earlier, since again, I do have like double spell, well, double ritual spell in my hand indeed. The Infinite Transient is going to block the Needle Fiber, and again, it's just so many top decks possible. Um, well, then again, he does have like the Infinite Transients on his side of the field as well, but the level 5 exa definitely a super solid top deck dropping the Valkyrus trying to use its effect to get like one or two draws not really sure what my intentions were but it's getting negated right um, but no field spell on his side of the field so quite slowly recovering from you know the the multiple negation cards from the opponent like the hand traps the transients etc uh, again something where necros definitely suffer um, and even more uh, and even harder compared to OCG format where cards like Shurit are still legal, right? You have to invest more cards here if you are using the TCG panelists. Finally, finally get one of the Devil Rituals going. You go for um, Decisive Armor indeed, uh, triggering or targeting the back row. Uh, the enemy control is changed, would have been at least that, that definitely good. So, well, then again, I do, it. I do get a token, so he definitely was not able to uh, attack for a game if he did have the enemy, uh, if he still had the enemy controller in his back row. But now I can go for a game, normal summon the ghost, or ash blossom indeed, needle fiber, and that's more than enough to attack for a game. Yep, ghost ogre is not in the main deck, but maybe that one should in the should be in the main deck. Maybe over something like infinite transients, maybe drop some uh, other main deck cards. But again, all feedback, like always, is appreciated. Uh, to see which cards can I, uh, I can possibly replace for Ghost Ogres. Again, Ghost Ogres is also too, too, um, well, too much needed against uh, Panel of Magicians, you know, getting rid of um, the Link Monster uh, Electromite. It's definitely needed. Um, I have to drop Trish. I can drop Trish here, right? I should be able to drop Trish, if I'm not mistaken. Set up Unicorn, uh, set up Brionek in the graveyard, go for Trish Life eventually uh, to, um, well, yeah, can banish the Diablos, I believe, in his graveyard. I believe the Terraforming as well, and the uh, Eater of Millions. And again, I'm in a very good position. The size of armor in hand, the Princess uh, in my hand as well. I've seen Bo Tang's list from a couple of weeks ago. Uh, TCG Vandalist, by the way, I believe main decking notable Twin Twisters also, and I believe double Princess. Princess is okay, um, but I, yeah, in this uh, currently in the finalized list, well, the list you and I'm showcasing here in the video, there's only one. Um, what is it called? It's the, the right card here in the replay. Uh, I believe also one of the, the newer cards for Necros is not really that popular. And again, Necros now with the ban list not that popular either, so... Uh, anyway, last duel against Pendle Magicians, the opponent gets to start, and here is where the Ghost Ogre over Infinite Transients would have been much better. But I think I have to keep the Transients during my own turn to negate a possible Vortex, but he does go for Decor Darker as expected. So that's already an, like an out to Infinite uh, Transients. There it is, so negating the Transients, tributing the... Mm -mm -mm, what is it called? The Fusion, eventually. Yeah, now I have to play around the Vortex and possible like an Edge Blossom or a Ghost Ogre in his hand, so I eventually up to drop both Valkyrus and the Clausulus, the Clausulus negating, possibly negating the Vortex if he does use it, um, but he does have the Ghost Ogre, that's a problem, again, 
losing a huge beat stake on the field. But I'm not really sure if I was able to go for Trish. I, I don't think so. Uh, since I already used Prep, right? And the uh, Kaleidoscope is useless since I already used that one as well. Uh, and, but yeah, again, no option to prevent my opponent to go for a Pendulum Summon, let alone stopping the, uh, the onslaught of multiple monsters on the field. And then, you know, now it's just up to him how he wants to, like, <laughs> like end his turn with. He can, he can definitely go for something like Omega or go for um, Boreload Skull. Maybe to get some extra draws if he wants. Um, he does go for the rank 4 exceed as well. Bory load, I guess. It's fine. Well, well I get the Bory load dragon. It's a good play using Valkyrus on its own to get um, rid of, like, well, the Valkyrus on itself to the, the one card in his hand and, you know, not uh, leave him um, wide open for a possible Trishula play. And, yep, no original monster and it sets again, sadly, game. Not really sure if I was able to go for Brionek earlier. Well, um, reborn Brionek that is with something like cycle and bionic bouncing back a couple of cards but you know that's how it is so again all feedback is appreciated apologies for possible misplays necros is not my to go to deck but again all feedback is appreciated okay guys that's it thanks for watching and feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video leave them sunny out peace